How about I'm good? Hello, Sarah's family on YouTube. <laughs> My name is Eddie Max Squiggles. Can I use that name? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Because I'm like. I'm an artist on Instagram, and that's, that's my online name is Eddie Mike Squiggles. You'll have to put that in the, as a hashtag on the video because nobody understands. If you say Max Squiggles, nobody understands it that you have to write it down for people. Yeah. So. Hi I'm, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Sarah, and today uh, I'll be introducing to you my fiance Edward and yeah that's his name of Instagram is an artist and yeah pretty much he'll talk about himself to you guys and right now it's we, this is the second time we're meeting and well i just thought okay why not introduce him to you all of you guys and we start our journey together yeah so we first met on the 14th of april 2018. yeah that was the first day we messaged each other we met in through facebook yeah was uh, uh Meet uh, African women meet white men here. Was that the one? There was a couple of groups. We were, we were, <laughs> yeah. I was in at the time. I don't know. So it's like a lot of African women who try to date online find that they they try for ten years and they never meet a man. Sarah posted one picture and got two messages, and I was one of them, and we've had a relationship ever since. So it's like, it's kind of like, a lot of this relationship is a dream for Sarah and it's a dream for me and it's a great relationship to be in. Sarah's a fabulous woman and uh, my family adore Sarah and the children, all the girls. Uh, their, their education is paramount in, in, to my family. And uh, you, you talk about a wedding. Pretty much, yeah, we, we, we're planning to get married, but of course we'll make a different video of how, what made us, or why did we make this decision that we're getting married. So we met in 2018 online, and then we met physically for the first time in 2019, October, mm. was it 14 two? No, I think it was about the 11th. I, yeah. th I think it was exactly Independence Day, the day I arrived. Yeah. So that was the first time we met. Um, and I'll be showing you a few pictures of when it met, we first met. And of course, I really wanted like our first time meeting. We planned it. We would go to church. We did go to church. Then after church, he did meet my family, my dad, and my siblings. And he also tried this fast African food because we did not make anything like any kind of Western food. Everything was typical, uh, typical food, like a typical of traditional food here. And I don't think it was a great experience because <laughs> for him to eat that, but yeah he did try to eat it so um, so like she she invited an irish person around for dinner in a country that has a lot of potatoes and she didn't cook potatoes for <laughs> dinner yeah you know <laughs> it's like my favorite food are potatoes and some of the potatoes in in uganda if you're irish and you're watching this Uganda has the best potatoes in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Really nice potatoes. Yeah, like our potatoes are very nice, they're very tasty. But it's not about only the potatoes. Our things are like very organic, that people don't use a lot of fertilizers here or anything. So the bananas, I've had lots of people 
from Europe and America, they try our bananas, our fruits here, and they love it. They say it's very tasty and very nice. You got these little bananas that are like this size, and they're like a dessert. They're so sweet. They're yeah. really, really good. But the, the bananas is saying, like in my tradition or my, my tribe, we do use them even to make a certain kind of wine. And the wine is like, it's a very sweet wine, but can also like make it drunk first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We like it to make it, we make some wine out of it, but it is a very nice kind of bananas. And yes, one thing for sure that I'm really, really grateful, you know, when other, for other people have been online dating for long, We've dated pretty much over our time. We've been dating like we've just been online and talking and talking online. So sometimes we, we do get problems and misunderstandings. And honestly, it had been very, very long ever since Edward managed to come back to Uganda. But I'm so, so like, I'm so grateful to God that he was able to to come back and I'm so grateful for his life and I'm so thankful and like my family is we're so blessed to have him because he he's been like a blessing to us him and his family like they've been a great help to me and they've done us really pretty well a lot of things that I can't explain out here but we're very thankful so we're going to end our first video here because everything seems kind of awkward because it's our first time doing a video together but we'll be telling you guys everything like step on the way a step of the way slowly by slowly we're going to spend some good time in uganda is here so we'll be taking videos little by little and we'll be showing you guys our journey and sharing more about our relationship with you guys but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. See you in our next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.